What's up guys, T-Max here, and I hope you're having a great day. Just wanted to give you a quick update. As you can see, the setup video is posted. It took me working 5-10 to 10 hours every day to get that done. But thank you for your patience because that was two weeks that I wasn't posting. So here's what's up next. I'm going to be binge playing and go ahead and beat the 6 PS4 games that I've been playing. I've already beat Saints Row 4 and I'm beating The Evil Within right now. Not like right now because I'm talking to you. But you get that. You get it, don't you? You do. I know you do. After I beat all six games, I'm going to make a funny montage based on the videos I've just posted. After the funny montage, I'll post the new videos and then I'll transition to PC games. And again, thank you for your patience for how long it took me to put out the setup video. I wanted it to be great, not just like me walking around verbalizing what I see, but like a movie. And I wanted all those links in the description to be clean and organized and easy to follow. I think it turned out great, and I hope you guys do too. But I do ask, please be patient with me as I beat those games, record that footage, edit that footage, all while I'm headed into the final and hardest semester of the nursing major. And I just want to say your commitment to this channel and the goals of this channel is awesome and I thank you for that. Because I want to change this world for the better with love, with the love of Christ. While being goofy and playing games and just chatting with you guys. And I couldn't do it without every single one of you. So besides the updates, here's something that happened to me yesterday and today. Yesterday was one of the worst days of my life. I got up and I wanted to get my girlfriend some Starbucks because I knew she was tired. They took forever and the round trip to do all that set me back a couple of hours. I met with someone to design something for them and that took a while. And because my girlfriend is working two jobs, I'm trying to help her out with her three dogs. So when she's working both jobs in the same day, I try to go to her house at least twice a day and take them out to use the bathroom and feed them. The first time I went out there at about three or so, not only did I step in crap, but somehow got it on the back of my pants. Not a big deal, just I was covered in crap, so that's kind of a thing. Once I got back home, I had to hose those down and oh, the hose broke by the way. I remembered I had to pay some bills, but I lost my account info. It took forever to find that because I couldn't get a hold of a human being. It was just those automated robot voices that I know I will be hearing from the Terminators one day. But I was stressing out because it was due. Blech. By the time I settled the bills, it was like 8 p.m. So about 8.30, I started recording The Evil Within and got one chapter done. Now it was about 11 p.m. and I was already a couple of hours late of going back and taking care of the dogs again. This time, I just didn't get crap on me. I got blood and fur and etc. She has two pit bulls and a mutt. One of the pits and the mutt got into a bloodbath of a dog fight. Those two were on a leash that I had tied around a tree. And instead of running around like playful dogs, a couple of neighboring dogs was barking and upset them. Well, they turned on each other. I was on the other side of the house walking the third dog when I heard it happen. I heard it, I ran around, I took the dog I was walking, threw him into the kitchen, ran back out. Oh, it's pitch black by the way. There's no lights, porch lights, street lights pointing to the backyard. I had to like hold my phone and tried to do what I could with one hand. And I couldn't pull them apart no matter how hard I tried. If I pulled them apart they came right back to each other and I can't even really see because it's dark. And no matter how much I screamed and no matter how much I tried to stop them, nobody came to help and they didn't stop. I kicked off my sandals, I grabbed one dog's leash and I dragged him as they were still fighting, dragged him all the way around the house to the front door. 
well, they're still latched onto each other, getting blood all over me, all over the door. And I start taking this one dog and I'm slamming his head in the screen door so he will let go of this dog. So I finally get the door shut and they're separated by the door. And all of a sudden the third dog wants to come in and play or find out what's happening. But these two dogs just got in a fight last week. So I take that dog and I put him in his room and I take the other dog and I put him in a cage. Then I open the door to find this dog just, you know, sitting there. Thankfully, he didn't run off. And I take him and I put him in a different room. The dogs and I were exhausted, covered in blood, and it just sucked. I took a look at them to make sure they weren't going to die. I gave them food and water and I said, deuces, I'm out. As I was leaving, I locked the door and on my girlfriend's house, it's like the inside knobs will turn even if it's locked here. So that confuses me sometimes. I figured it out, but it took a few times of getting locked out to figure it out. Regardless, I make sure it's locked and I walk out. And I realized the spare key is still inside, meaning that once my girlfriend comes home, she will be locked out. So exhausted and covered in blood and sweat and panting, I spend the next 10 minutes trying to card my way back into the house. I get in, I get the key, I hide it, I take my clothes off, I get in the car and drive home. I take my clothes off because I don't want to get blood and crap all over my seat. I just, you get it. And you can't fool me, I know you've driven naked before. I know you. I know you have. So I got home, took a shower, and just died. It was one of the most terrible days of my life. And that whole fiasco with the dogs was just the lovely little cherry on top. Lying in bed, thinking about the day, I accepted that yes, it was a terrible, terrible day. But I knew that God still loved me and he's still in control. The next day I wake up and I go to Waffle House to eat breakfast. And when I'm done and I'm about to get up, I get a phone call. I answer and it's somebody from my school. And my heart sinks and I'm like, oh crap. I think, oh crap, because I'm thinking it's some kind of financial issue or some registration issue that has screwed me big time. Because if yesterday was terrible, why not today too? But in reality, he was calling me to inform me that I had been selected for a $1,500 scholarship that I didn't apply for and I had no idea about. And I was floored with surprise and relief and gratitude because I'm not rich and money is getting pretty tight. And the day before was horrible and I needed something good to happen. And I'm glad it happened. So what do I have to say about all of that? Life is hard. Life is not fair. God is good. God is love. And God is in control. And that if you're going through a hard time right now, first of all, I'm sorry that you are because I don't want anybody to hurt for any reason. And second, I don't know you or your situation but I can guarantee you that Jesus loves you and sees you and he sees your heart and he sees your worry and your fear and your confusion. He sees that. It doesn't go by him unnoticed. And I just encourage you to trust him that he's in control and that he loves you and that you can lean on him and spill your heart out to him. And not only will he listen, but he'll understand. Now, even if you do that, and I hope you do, I don't know what will happen next. But I can guarantee that if you trust that Jesus is God's son, that he died and rose for our forgiveness, that he will walk through this with you. Notice that I said walk with you, not pluck you out of your situation. He can, he may not, but he can, but regardless, either way, 
he will not abandon you. Even if all else and all others say different. I hope that me telling you all that encourages you and that you feel loved by me and more importantly, him. Thanks guys for watching this and thanks again for all your patience as I work hard to get things ready behind the scenes. I hope you have a great day and until next time, T-Max out.